Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to talk about this write function. So before we go and write some formula and see how this write function can be useful in our day-to-day -day work, let's talk about it and try to understand what exactly is this write function and how it can be useful. So this write function is categorized under Excel text function and it will return a specific number of characters from the end of a given text string from the right side of the text string so in data cleaning and data preparation this write function can be very useful if you wish to extract a certain characters from the right side of the text string and most commonly and generally it is used by combining it with other functions such as value sum count date day etc right so let's go and see the example in this video so we have to get the country name from the customer address and you can see that the country name is at the last of this address column right for each and every customer this country name is in the last so the first thing that we understand is that we have to get the last part of this address now we know that there might be another country for example instead of india we can have sri lanka here now we have different countries in our last in the last of this delivery address and we have to create a formula this write function formula in a certain way that our country name can be reflected properly in the result set so the first thing what i will do is that I'll show you a simple way of using this write function. So now for this row number six, I know that India is the country name and there are five characters in India. So what I can do is that I can simply use this equal to and write function. The, the first argument that write is asking is the text and this text is the original text string from where you want to extract the substring part. Now the second argument is the nums character. This nums character is an optional argument but you have to give the number of character that you want to extract from the text so that it can return that specific substring which you want to show in your result set. So for us India has 5 characters so we will put 5 and then we will close this bracket. Now we can see here is that India is getting reflected correctly as our result set. But think of a situation where you have millions of row and you know that there are multiple country names and each of the country name can have different character length. For example, in row number 6, India has 5 character but in row number 8, Sri Lanka is a different country. So it has 8 characters or 9 characters with spaces, right? So how we can create a dynamic write function so that it can extract the proper country name. So the first of all what we have to do is that we have to find out the last comma which is present after the state name. So you can see here that there are four different commas. The first comma is after lane number the second comma is after the lane name the third comma is after the city name the fourth comma is after the state name so once we can find out the position of the fourth comma then we can start extracting the substring part so that if i replace or if i remove this part of this text then we left out with the country name only in order to do that we have to use the find function which we have explained in our previous video so if i use equal to find and the first argument that find is asking find text and if i put comma okay and then within text the second argument is within text so i'm giving this cell c6 sorry c8 right and the start number is one so i know that the first comma is present at seventh location right now I have to find out the fourth comma where exactly is the fourth comma so if I put another find function right within this text c8 within this text c8 right and 
okay so i have done a mistake so now let's put the find function okay within text is this one sorry the find text is comma and within text is this c8 the starting number will be this 7 where the first comma is present plus 1 so i have to start finding the second comma after the first comma so from the eighth position right now if i do this three times or four times i will get my position for the fourth comma right so now i know that the first comma is at seventh position the second comma is at 20th position the third comma is we have to find out the third comma so i'll put find and then we'll put comma within text this and the fourth uh, the third argument is asking us this start number so start number will be 20 plus 1 so the third comma is at 30th position now this third comma is at the 30th position right one more time i have to put this find function to find out the fourth comma so we have to find this comma within this text and the start number will be 31 which is 30 plus 1 so the fourth comma is at the 40th position now if i if i find, found out the length of this entire the length of this entire address then we can use it to extract the right end part of this text which has the country so if i usually take equal to length of this right so the length of this is 50 and the entire length is 50 until 40th position we have comma so if i minus this 50 minus 40 we are left out with 10 characters right so since the last a till this comma with this two blank spaces here we have 10 characters so simply if i use equal to right and the text from where we have to get the right part or the substring is this and the number of character will be this 50 minus this 40 which is 10 right we are getting sri lanka this is the country name now similarly if i extract this formula we will get blank here reason being is that we have not dragged formula here so if i simply copy this entire thing here and if i copy this formula here you will see that we are getting the country names but we are having this extra space in the left hand side for example if i give you equal to length of this you are getting six reason being there are five characters in india but we are also getting this last space after this last comma so what we can do simply here is that we can put this j6 minus i6 minus 1 then we are left out we have left out this blank space in the left hand side and we are getting the proper country name now think of a situation where you don't have this much of cells and you have to put this entire formula within this right formula right so what i can do simply is that within the argument the second argument i can replace all of these formula here and then we can make our entire right formula more dynamic and versatile so i'll leave it up to you guys that if you are facing any problem by inputting these find functions as an argument within under this right formula do let us know in the comment section and we will put a, another video stating that how we can put these find functions in the argument of this right function but it will be very helpful for you to do it by your own so this is how basically you can use this write function in excel to extract the characters from the right side of a text string 
Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button.